Good morning, y'all. It's your boy Jay. Welcome to another episode of the Jay and Dre Show. Uh, today we're going to be discussing the ongoing saga with the whole straight drop, Young Dolph uh, assassination and murder that happened a few months ago. Um, so as you all know, Young Dolph was uh, murdered um, in front of a uh, cookie shop a couple months ago. And, um, you know, there's been rumors and speculation that it was a hit that was sent for by uh, CMG and and you know, black youngster and Yo Gotti name has been thrown out. And not saying those guys had anything to do with it. That's just all the speculation that's been going on on the internet. And you know, today my topic, what I want to speak about is that we we have to do better, man. You know, we, we have to do better as a people. We have to do better as a culture. Um, You know, I understand we don't live in Disneyland. And everything can't always be kumbaya, but at the same time, a situation like this should never have occurred. You know, when you when you talk about rap and hip hop, it's only it's like the lottery for guys who can get in and maintain a level of success in, in, in this genre and profession. So when you think about a guy like Yo Gotti, who worked his way for mixtapes and you know the the back backwoods clubs and all those type of things to being the boss and and uh the ceo of uh you know his record label and signing all these cats and doing all these things and you were thinking about you you would start to think about uh you know um young dolphin coming from you know a guy who who sold marijuana and drugs and stuff like that but develop into uh an entrepreneur a boss a family man a husband a father just something, somebody who could could motivate um, young African Americans in the inner city in Memphis and beyond. And you sit and you sit and you start to think about that. You have to ask yourself, man, at what point are we going to fix each other's crowns instead of shooting each other down? I mean, at at what point could the OGs in that city or the guys around those brothers, you know? Sit them down before bodies were dropping, and 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 just said, "What are we doing?" That's honestly my question. Like, what what are we doing? Like, I'm tired of seeing guys get on in the industry and start beefing with guys they never met before until they started rapping. That makes no sense. The goal is to build a career, get famous, and then when you do that, you. you you start beefing, you, you start having, man, I, I heard, um, I forgot what artist it was, but they said, man, it was Yo Gotti, actually. You know, he on one of his albums, he said, man, I wasn't living, I wasn't living like this before I started rapping. I wasn't living like this when I was trapping. You, you know, got to ride around with bulletproof cars and all these securities and security guards and, you know, entourage 10 20, 20 10 20 people around you at all times just to sort of feel protected you know at what point do we realize that we're missing the point we got the fame we got the money but the mindset is still ignorant imagine they didn't have to be cool you know i know some of us you know they said Dolph didn't want to sign your guy and you know and a woman was involved and so on and so forth but at what point do we say, at what point could have it, it, it been said that, man, look, you know, you are who you are. I am who I am. And we could put our money together and, and change the whole city. And I'm not only talking about um, putting on in the music industry. I'm talking about the streets. You know, I, you know, I'm not sure the street ties they all has as far as, you know, street organizations and things of that nature, you know, but man, you know, Memphis is a, it's a city with, with, with a mixture of, of, of street organizations. You know, they got people's nations, folk nations, bloods and crips. So at what point could them, those two bosses have said, yo, man, you, we're going to get all these dudes lined up and, and we're going to become the Mecca of Southern hip hop, Memphis, which Memphis is on right now, but a large part of it is due to the beef they got going on. We celebrate ignorance too much. 
when is enough enough? When are we going to start saying that we ain't here for ignorance, man? We here to fix each other crowns, not shoot each other down, man. Imagine if those two brothers got together and said we're going to actively join forces to make each to make Memphis the mecca of Southern hip hop, eventually mecca of hip hop in the United States of America. We're going to put our city on the map, our, our resources together. We're going to build four or five community centers, north to south Memphis, east and west. You know, our goal as, as, as bosses is to see if it was 400 homicides in Memphis in 2020, our goal by 2025 is to bring it down to 200 because we have the cooperation of all these different um, street organizations and, and, and people who has say so in different factions and, and, and neighborhoods. When are we going to use our power for betterment instead of destruction, man? It's not that it's not that hard. Anybody can shoot and kill, but it takes a man. It takes a man to sit down at the table and truly boss up and truly better his community, his city, his people. When are we going to get to that point? We, you know, I, I don't know, you know, it's no, it, it, it's just all assumptions and you got to be careful when you assume, but if, if what the streets are saying is correct, a, a child, this, this cat ain't even 25 years old yet. We let a child kill a boss, man. That was only things putting people on. They got a battery put in his back for what? Thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars. If if that what it was, man. If it was a hundred thousand dollars, so what? You could have got, you 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 put yourself on the line to get a life sentence for maybe fifty thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, when you could have been around this man and got a million dollars worth of game for free. We gotta start. We gotta stop hating each other, man. We got to stop hating each other. I'm tired of cats saying, oh, it's too much bloodshed on both sides. I mean, the United States dropped the atomic bomb on Hiroshima and the other city in Japan, and hundreds of thousands of people died. And right now, we do business with China every day. Don't tell me because 10, 15, 5, 2, 3, John John, John John got murdered, and we can't sit down and talk. Y'all Negroes ain't that tough, man. Y'all just ignorant. At what point is enough enough? The biggest thing I've learned from the Yo Gotti and the Young Dolph and the Black Youngster and the Straight Drop or whoever you want to call them, the biggest thing I've learned is that it's, it's a timeout for us as a culture to celebrate ignorance before we big up intelligence. It's, it, 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 we got to work together. At what point are we going to realize that this ain't it? Guns, pointing them at the screen, you know, gang banging in, in the form that, that, that's currently going on. It's nothing but black genocide. And we cool with that. At what point are we going to realize that, that that ain't cool? That's whack. Man, face each other crowns and stop shooting each other down. It's your boy Jay. Peace.